Hey, what is up guys? Corey here, and in today's video, we are taking a look at some awesome budget book bags. Let's do this. Alrighty guys, so before I begin diving into each of these bags specifically, I want to go ahead and hit some of the common features that all of these bags have. So for one, all of these bags feature a laptop compartment that will fit at least up to a 15 inch laptop. On top of that, a huge feature to note is that all of these bags are water resistant. So if you're walking in the rain or you accidentally spill some uh, drink on it or something like that, you're definitely okay. Now another feature to note, and one of the reasons I made this video, is that all of these bags are very budget friendly. Another thing to note, and something that most backpacks will have nowadays at least, is adjustable straps. So if you're a huge guy, you're a small girl, or whatever that case might be, you're definitely gonna be okay. Now a feature that a lot of people look for when buying a backpack in general, is does it have enough back support? And I would say yes, I would say all three of these bags have an ample amount of back support. Reason being, I've had a good amount of weight in all three of these bags. I've, I've carried them for a long ways. I've had no sense of back pain. So it's definitely something I wanted to stress to you guys and I'm very happy there. Now another feature across all three of these bags is they have two water compartments on each side of the bag. So if you wanna have a water bottle on one side, maybe a water bottle in both. Or in my case, I did a makeshift water bottle in one and a Joby Gorilla Pod or any kind of small tripod in general. That's definitely an option there. Now, another thing to note, and it's probably the most important thing to note, is that these bags could be worn by men or women. So they're all very neutral colors. They definitely don't stick out to one sort of gender or anything like that. So I'm very happy there that this can appeal to everyone. Now, let's go ahead and jump into this first backpack here. The first one on the table is from TomTok, and it's the TomTok Vintage Backpack. Now, I'm going ahead and taking a look at the outside of the bag here. For one, we have this magnetic pouch, so I'm very happy with that. I didn't even know it was a feature to begin with, but once I got it, I fell in love with it, and I've, I've liked it ever since, so I'm definitely happy there. On top of that, we actually have a real leather handle here. So if you're moving only a couple feet, you don't want to have to take the time to put it on your bag or whatever it might be, this handle is going to have you covered and it's very comfortable. Now another weird feature to note, but it's something that I definitely wanted to get past to you guys, is the fact that these zippers here, they're very smooth. It's almost a very luxurious feel. So nothing's catching the zipper and I've had problems with zippers in the past, but this zips like butter. Now looking at all three bags as a whole, I would definitely say that this bag in particular has the best back support. Now let's go ahead and dive into the middle pocket here. There's a lot of very neat features and off the bat there's this little key string that I have just fell in love with. So say you're jumping out of your car, you're on the way to class, you're going into work, you don't want to put your keys in your pocket for whatever reason that might be. There's this little key fob thing. All you got to do is stick it on your key ring and this little string and you just pop it right into place. So a very, very neat feature to have and I'm very happy with that Tom Talk. On top of that, with most book bags, we also have some pen and some pencil slots. So it's gonna be good if you're going to class or work or wherever you might need a pencil. And on top of that, we also get a couple small compartments here for things like a wallet, maybe a hard drive or something like that. Now let's go ahead and jump right into here to this main pocket. So there's a ton of features with this main pocket here. Now for one, we get this mesh zipper pocket, very large pocket here. Definitely large enough to throw a MacBook charger in or whatever that might be. Now on this laptop slash tablet area, you're getting a good amount of foam padding. So you know how book bags are. They're always falling, tipping over or whatever it might be, maybe getting turned upside down. It's definitely awesome that they have a good amount of foam padding there. Now one of the coolest features in this main pocket here is it actually has this strap, this Velcro strap, protecting anything falling out. So if you have a tablet in there or your laptop in there, your book bag falls over, it twists over, something happens to it, you're gonna be okay. So I'm definitely very, very happy with that and glad to see that was a feature with this price point. So moving on to the next bag here, what we have on the table is the Copac 
Tiger New backpack. Now taking a look at the outside here, we have this nice little hidden zipper. So if you don't want somebody to see that zipper or for whatever reason that might be, I fell in love with the zipper and I think you guys will as well. One of the biggest features with this bag here is these zippers are actually lockable. So if you're looking really close here, you can actually see there's a pretty large hole on the zipper itself. All you'd have to do is buy yourself a little smaller lock, maybe something five or 10 bucks on Amazon or Walmart or wherever it might be. And if you're leaving the room or you're leaving the book bag unattended, you can definitely feel safe. Now, another thing to note is that this bag is actually offered in two different colors. So we have this gray version like I have on the table, and we also have a black as well. So it's definitely good that the customers are getting options. So good job there, Tiger Nip. Now going ahead and jumping into this middle pocket here. This middle pocket is gonna offer a ton of features. So for one, just like the last bag, we're actually getting a mesh zipper pocket as well. So if you wanted to throw something again, like your chargers or whatever it might be, that's definitely an option. Just like the last bag, we're also getting some small compartments for SSDs, hard drives, your wallet, whatever it might be. And we're also getting those pen and pencil slots as well. So going back to school or work or wherever it might be, you are all set. So now jumping to the main guns of the bag here, let's see what we got to offer. Now in this main pocket here, we do have this laptop or a tablet slot. So it's definitely a neat feature to have. You can pick one of the two. So moving up from there, we also get this neat little zipper pocket. So if you wanna throw something maybe a little more valuable that you don't want people to see, maybe some jewelry or your wallet, it's definitely an option. Now moving down from that zipper pocket, we also get a phone and a battery bank slot. Now these could be interchanged to different kind of things, but it is great, it fits great for your phone, it fits great for your battery bank. It could fit something from a 5,000 milliamp an hour battery bank to anything to like my 22,400 milliamp an hour power bank. So options there that I really enjoy. Now having this backpack turned around here, if we actually lift up the sleeves, it'll unveil a totally different pocket. Now this is actually the main laptop sleeve. So now earlier, if you heard me say laptop or tablet, you can actually feature two laptops with this bag, or you can have your laptop here, maybe your tablet on the inside, or whatever kind of works of agenda you guys might be going on. All right, so moving on to the last bag here, what we have on the table is actually the TomTok Premium. Now, again, this is another bag from TomTok, and what I've seen from this company is they just offer pretty reasonably priced, I mean, I don't wanna say cheap, but definitely very budget-friendly backpacks. Now, looking at the outside here, as you can see, it's definitely the most simplistic bag out of the three. Now, in my opinion, out of all three of these bags, this bag is definitely the most aesthetically pleasing. So if that's what you wanna go for, if that's what you want going back and forth to class or whatever it might be, this is the prettiest bag. Again, that's my opinion, and I wonder what you guys think. Definitely drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. So you probably can't see it, or if you can see it, you could probably barely see it. There's actually this little hidden zipper down here. Now the neatest feature about this hidden pocket here is the fact that it has this zipper tie down. So you're not gonna be hearing any jingling from this area of the backpack. So it's definitely not gonna draw too much attention. So I'm very happy with that. So let's go ahead and jump into this front little middle pocket here. Now this is definitely a very standard pocket. So there's no little nits and gadgets and all that kind of crap in there. All it is is just a straight up pocket and that's something that I enjoy. So I'll throw my battery bank and my wallet in there and that's about all she wrote. Now into this main pocket here, there's actually a couple really neat features. Things that I wouldn't expect to be in here, but they're definitely awesome. Now for one, we have this really cool headphone hanger that I've really never seen with a bag before. So instead of your headphones being at the bottom of the bag, probably rumbling around with your shoes, your gadgets, or your phone, or your keys, getting scratched up and all that stuff, all you do is you just take this little Velcro strap in here, and then you just tie your top of your headphones to it, and kablam, your headphones are floating right in the middle of your backpack. So an awesome feature there, Tom Talk. Now the laptop compartment in this backpack is actually pretty well padded, so I'm impressed with that even though it's a very simplistic backpack. And one of the coolest little features with this backpack here is there's actually two more drink compartments right on the inside. So what I'll usually do is put maybe some drinks that I don't want people to see, maybe some Red Bulls or something like that. Or if your mind gets a little dirtier, maybe you could throw some alcohol or have that as a little secret pocket or a little secret stash in your backpack. You can definitely do that as well. Now you might be asking yourself, hey Corey, 
what's your favorite bag or which one are you carrying the most? And that answer depends. It depends on what I'm doing. It depends on where I'm going. But here's what I have to say about that. If it comes down to an everyday carry, maybe me going back and forth to work because I spend a lot of time there or back and forth to school or different daily activities, here's what I would have to go with. Boom. Very simplistic, very easy, and I just fell in love with this bag. Especially at this price point, I'm very, very, very happy with it. Now on the other side of the spectrum, if I'm taking something maybe to the airport or if I'm using it as a travel bag, it's hard for me to decide. Now I would go ahead and have to say that I would use both of these. Now there's reasons to both. Both of them have about the same amount of gear that you can put in it and both of them are pretty aesthetically pleasing. So I really can't pick one, but if I had to pick one, if I had to, for some silly odd reason, here's what I have to say. Da ding So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Now if you do have any questions for me, feel free to drop them right down below, and be sure to check that description box for any links of the items featured in today's video. Hope you guys have a nice one. Peace. Really, bruh? Right now? Ah!